Summer is officially and finally here. What do we know about nice warm weather though? We want to get out, we want to enjoy it. The Village Point Wine Festival has become a must for many of you. The founder and CEO of Bricks, Dan Matuzic, returns. We're also happy to welcome back from Ronald McDonald House Charities of Omaha, another friend of the show, Lindsay Reisner. And it's good to see you both again. Thanks for having us. Hey Dan, put this in a nutshell for us, this wine festival. What's the idea? Well, first of all, uh, we we're raising money for charity for the Ronald McDonald House. But we, we close off Main Street down Village Point, mm -hmm. and we have 150 wines that you get to sample from. Um, and for $55, you get uh, to sample all these wines. Yeah. You get small plates from Bravo, um, from Kona, from Johnny's Italian, mm. from Bricks, and also from... Um, um, uh, um, I always lost my laugh. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go. We've got the poster. We'll show it. Yeah, keep going, Dan. Uh, Firebirds, thank you. Uh -huh. um, and if you buy your ticket by this Thursday, you get a $10 Bricks gift card. Yes, that's huge. And then you can use it inside the store to shop. Yeah. Which, you know, if you're thinking about the, doing the money math on it, well, if I buy a ticket for this and then I get a $10 gift card back, and then $10 is going to Ronald McDonald yes. House Charities. It's amazing the value of this event. And then we have the free music, Dan, that's yep. what center court there. On Friday on night Friday and Saturday. So let's show you who's playing on both of those nights. I'll be there on Friday night. Awesome. So come say hello. Um, all the information's online at vpwinefestival.com. So every time Dan comes in, he brings us um, some of the exciting finds from Brick. So what do you, what do you want to show us today, sir? Well, I knew, Mary, that I had to bring your favorite Moscato. Oh, thank so, you. So, first of all, this is Mia Dolcea. <laughs> uh -huh. So, if you want to give this a uh, little try. Right. And each of the glasses. This is the first, first one right One here. of the things I love about Dan is he explains why are the glasses a different shape. So, each of these wines is in a different glass. Why does that matter? Well, it's, it's uh, the shape of the glass where mm -hmm. it determines where the wine hits on your palate. See, and so I'll show you just two examples here. So you'll notice this one is a, a bit more... It's longer, mm -hmm. and it's also narrower, so that's going to hit the back of your palate. So this one's a little bit wider. And shorter, uh -huh. and it'll hit the front of your palate. Great, so... And, and the Cabernet is, is shorter and wider. It's going to hit the back kind of middle palate. Nice, so. hot weather. You oh, like this perfect. because it's so these refreshing are, and light. These first two wines we call patio pleasers. Mm -hmm. So these are these are great wines for the summer, Moscato, and we're going to try the Rosé next. Right. So. I, I know you. I know you love wine. that wine. Keep it in the fridge. My husband knows when we're sitting out on the deck um, after dinner. We just enjoy. We live on it. Our house backs to a trail, so we just like to sit there and have a glass of wine. And this is one of my favorites. What's next? The second one is J Brut um, Rosé. It's a sparkling wine okay. from the Russian River Valley mm -hmm. in um, Sonoma. Um, when people see pink, they think like white Zinfandel. This is mm -hmm. not. This is a dry rosé. So this is about two thirds. Um, uh, Pinot Noir and one third Chardonnay. Okay. Um, great wine for the summer. It's going to be a little bit drier. Uh, once again, it's great. It's a great food wine because it's high acid. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you're going to get this this raspberry, strawberry flavor out of it. But it's not it's not sweet. It's on the drier side. And a lot of people love mm. dry rosés. This is just yeah. a great wine to, to match, um, pair with food. I like that too, Dan. So what's next and last? Well, this is for the Cabernet drinkers. Okay. This is the uh, William Hill 2012 Napa Valley Cabernet. Um, this is going to be your big, bold, dark fruit for those who like drier red wines. And you this would pair this with what type of entree? Give us steak. an idea. Yeah. Steak. <laughs> a great steak, a great ribeye right off the Hey, grill. we can find one of those around here, can't we? It's like 9.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's never too early to be drinking Cabernet. <laughs> Come on, Lindsay, don't ruin the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and again, the shape of the glass here matters because of where it presents the wines. The yeah, time. you're gonna notice this. This is kind of this. This it's got a little bit shorter stem mm -hmm. and a wider bowl, so it's gonna kind of hit mid palate. Is where mm -hmm. you really want to accentuate that wine. We didn't want Lindsay to be here just so we weren't drinking together. We, <laughs> we didn't need just a third friend. <laughs> Uh, you're here because of, of your mission and raising money for an important cause. Would you explain what you'll do with the money that comes through thanks to this festival? Uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. This is a huge deal for the Ronald McDonald House. People in Omaha would do anything for their kids, right? So this is this isn't just about the Ronald McDonald House. It's not just about wine. This is about the collective humanitarian heart that is mm -hmm. coming together mm -hmm. with people who absolutely love good wine, right? And so. If we get to 2,000 people, which is our goal, we will take care of every single family that comes into the Ronald McDonald House for one night. Wow. Every family for the entire year, if we can make it. So wow. 
this is huge for us. It's huge for our family, and it's huge for the whole process of hope and healing for mm -hmm. what every one of these families is going through. We're fortunate to have some excellent medical facilities here in Omaha, and I think maybe some of us don't realize it because we live here. Mm -hmm. The families come in from hours and hours away to access that care, and that's where you come in to make yeah. sure they're not worried about paying for a hotel room and getting back and forth make it that time a little bit easier. We have people coming in from all over the world to mm -hmm. receive care because they can't get what they need in their hometown. We provide, whereas the hospital will provide the clinical care, we come in on the back end and make sure that mm -hmm. they have everything that they need to fully participate in their child's healing process. Well, Dan, I think it's great that you selected them as your charity partner. You mentioned getting that $10 gift card, but you said there was a deadline. Yeah, Thursday. If you buy your ticket mm -hmm. at Bricks um, by Thursday, you get the $10 Bricks gift card. If you buy your ticket at the gate, you will not you know, get that gift get card. Get that card, but the $55 includes um, the small plates from five participating restaurants, over 150 wines available on Friday and Saturday night. We'll have live music both Friday and Saturday night, and I'll be there emceeing the show on Friday. We encourage you to visit vpwinefestival.com. It's going to be another great event, we know, and we appreciate you being here today, Dan. Great, thank thanks, you very Dan. much. And Lindsay, thank, thank you, you for joining we'll us today. We'll see you today. Friday.